we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh the good times just begun Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right Good morning, Epic Peoples. Hope things are going great for you. Uh, today here in Alaska, we are starting out with no power. <laughs> because... I don't know, I went to go plug my cell phone in and all of a sudden like the power went out and I looked at the cable and I'm like, what did I... Actually, it might not have been the power went out and we might have an issue with the breaker at the at the service panel. Let's go check that before we get going here for today. Oh. on. Everything looks good here. The thing about having your power go out right now is it's not 40 or 50 below, it's light all the time, you know, it's just more of an inconvenience as opposed to life-threatening. We, you know, we have backup plans. It's not really that big a deal either way. Got some generators we could hook up. We'll just see how long we go. Just to make sure the fridge and freezer don't fall out too much. Girl, it is a beautiful day here in the AK. I know I walk around, guys. I got a comment. Someone says, why do you always walk around? It's annoying. <laughs> and it's just a habit. I do it when I'm on the phone, too. I pace. I pace back and forth. Oh, oh my. Sir? He found what? his little remote control because I got the entire upstairs of all of our toys organized and purged. Woohoo! So Uncle Zachary is the one staying with us. All the other kids are over at mom's house. So we have just been chilling. We're all ready to go for the day. We have no idea what we're doing. Woo! Okay. Just love having my little brother here. It's so much fun. I'm just, a big brother. Absolutely not. So that's what we kind of got. We don't we don't really know what we're doing today, but we're just gonna kinda go with the flow. It should just be a good time. We're just gonna kinda Kind of wing it, so you never know what we're gonna have planned. Thanks for all the the awesome comments and support on the last video of you guys liking our whole surprise. It was a fantastic day. It just was like boom, boom, one surprise right after another, which was pretty awesome. Try to go work out in the garage a little bit. Oh, and I have to design my little brother, the one that just graduated this year, um, a little insert for his card. They're doing a virtual graduation, so I have a little link that I can put on there and. Um, People can go watch his little segment of graduation, like he gave a little speech, some pictures, things like that. So I have to get that done so we can go pick that up today. And then the fam is gonna come over here. We're gonna meet up and figure out what we're doing. That's the plan for today. All right, let's check it in Bert and see how he's doing. He is still hard at work. All right, just wrapping up work for the day. And my, fa my wife's family has been in and out, and I don't even know if a lot of you guys like are introduced, so I think my wife will probably introduce uh, you to it. I, there's a lot of new people here on the channel, so I think she'll introduce her family to you guys here in a little bit. But Emily's here, and a lot of you guys know Emily. She was in the last vlog, giving you the you know, info uh, in, the, in the airport. Emily brought somebody who's not related to us with her. So she brought a guy with her. And I'm curious to see, uh, I'd like your opinion, if you guys have any initiations that maybe your family does for new people that want to possibly be part of your family. <laughs> what questions actually I might ask. I might even do it on camera. He might, he might not like being on the spot, but there's one I could ask him that I've never heard at least m what I feel would be the right response to. So I'll, I'll maybe ask him that. We'll see if he feels comfortable. The crazy thing is, is I'm starting to feel like one of those old people because Emily was three the first time I met her. Um, I went over to her parents' house 18 years ago, and I don't know how that happened. And this cute little three-year-old girl just hops in my lap. And I'm the oldest of six kids, so I almost felt a little bit like a dad anyway. So I'm like, oh, hey, kiddo, how's it going? 
And now here, fast forward, she's bringing a dude over here. So I don't, know, I don't think I've really shared this with you guys. Uh, maybe I will. It's a little personal. But when I was growing up, I grew up in a Christian home. And I kind of strayed pretty hard. Relationships that went south for me. And a lot of it was even just, you know, I, I don't know. You're trying to find acceptance and like who you are. And then I would try to change myself to try to, you know, better meet this other person. And it just, all these just kind of yucky things didn't, didn't go well. Some forks in the road kind of rolled into my life and I was like, all right, which way am I going to turn? Am I going to turn toward crazy? Because I, I don't know if you've been in this spot where you kind of get out of your home and then it almost just feels like you're not grounded and you kind of get a little farther away and a little farther away than like you're searching for grounding and things that make sense and things that are some absolutes and some things that you know, uh, areas of comfort and meaning and trying to figure out where, you know, where you fit into this world and this life. And I had a lot of crazy weird things that rolled in and uh, bad relationships that actually stirred me, steered me closer to God. And I went actually so extreme and I had been hurt so much that I said, you know what, I'm just, I'm done with relationships. I'm done. I am going to just give myself to God completely for a year. Uh, I took one year and I didn't even watch any videos. I didn't read any books. Uh, I just controlled all of it. It's almost like a media fast is how we've called it today. And this is before social media, so it's probably a little easier to do at that point. But all input was things that kept my mind on God and things that were uh, pleasing to him and just changed my whole perspective for a year. That was kind of my little journey, if you will. And then I went to church one day. So I'd actually gone to a new church. My grandmother wanted me to bring her to this church. I'm like, all right, you know, yeah, sure. I bring her to this church. And then there's this there's this really cute little freckled girl. It's up and goes and sings a special at church. I'm like, wow, she's got a really nice voice. And wow, she's kind of she's kind of pretty. And then I'm like, whoa, 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 knock it off, knock it off, dude. We're we're done. We're done on that road here. Okay, we are not focusing on girls right now. So I've got, you know, I've got a plan, trying to hook it up with God, trying to figure this stuff out. Girls are not part of the plan right now. I know, it's a little inner conflict there. And then I'm like, all right, well, maybe I'll bring my sister to church. I told my sister, my sister Jessica, I'm like, hey, this, this girl, Jessica, I think you probably get along pretty pretty well with her, right? <laughs> had some inner, inner conflict there, but long story short, I ended up hanging out there enough that I had started having feelings for this girl. Active in, you know, in the church and ministry and stuff like that, and, you know, it did a lot of singing, and, you know, she worked a job, and so anyway, when I started like, oh, wow, I actually am starting to have feelings, I just called the meeting with her dad. I'm, her dad, and you guys haven't seen him on the vlog, but he's a very in intense person. He's a very soft-hearted person on the inside, but like outside he can be very intense. So I'm scared out of my mind. I just, I need to be upfront with you. I'm starting to have feelings for your daughter and I don't know, uh, I don't know what I should do. I know that God works through authority and your authority. So if you tell me to go away, I'll go away. Just I, tell me what to do here. And he says, you know, I'm not ready for my daughter to be in any kind of a serious relationship right now. But if you'd like to spend time around the family, get to know us, that would be okay. All right, that I guess I guess that works. So then little little Emily, who's three years old at the time, hops on my lap and you know get get to know the family and and get to know them inside and out. There was only there was only Emily, uh, Zach, and my wife Jessica at the time. Those are the only three, and they've since added to their family another kind of <laughs> another different story there too. <laughs> Fast forward, eighteen years. Emily's not three no more. She's 21. She's got a guy. You know, I'm supposed to be part of the part of the initiation. So I would love any information you have or any advice you have. We want the best for her and and for him and all these things. But it's just it's, it's weird how how life works. But anyway, I thought I'd share that story. And that's my background. It's like I'm reliving it now with Emily and my girls are not far. I mean, Audrey's turning 13, so my girls are not far down the line too. Trying to figure all this out. Oh my goodness. All right, thought I'd share this. I'm going to get back in the house, wrap up work, but appreciate you guys coming along. Thank you guys for being a part. And uh, let me let me go back in the house and wrap up work here for the day. And Well, the weather turned very... Ooh. We've been... Wow.
We don't get thunderstorms here very often. About every time around this time of the day, it's about three o'clock right now, we've been experiencing like super, super nice weather in the morning. And then around three o'clock or so, it turns into like a thunderstorm, which I personally love. I think it's great because you have like a nice hot day and then you kind of get like a little bit of an evening shower. And I love thunderstorms. Who else likes thunderstorms? Fast, like I've noticed, I'm sure this is everywhere, but definitely for here, especially this time of year, is the weather can change so quickly and so fast and then it'll come and then all of a sudden it'll be gone. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy thunderstorms. Closest in age. Wow! Well. my only sister. Best <laughs> sister. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Hashtag at it. Rylan. That means guy friend. Guy. This is guy. Guy friend. <laughs> this is who I told you about earlier. All right, everyone. This is Rylan. Put him on the spot here a little bit, but I just thought I'd just ask some sort of brother-in-law questions. Would you ask someone interested in your sister? But if someone was interested in her, I would make sure that he was financially stable and that he was um, emotionally stable <laughs> and that he could protect her physically and guard her emotions and make sure that he's just the right fit. So do you, I can't do you, give my sister to someone who's not the right fit. So. Do you feel you're all those things? I feel, I feel I'm pretty close, hopefully. Okay. Do, you feel, do you feel I'm all those things? Dude, I'm asking the questions here, buddy. You're in the hot seat. You're greatest strength my greatest strength you no know, I think I really I really enjoy just making people happy I enjoy I enjoy giving and I enjoy serving I think I'm, I'm definitely the kind of person who just wants to just make sure everyone's all right and I just want to make sure that everyone's protected and that everyone's safe so I think that's my one of my greatest strengths I think is your Greatest weakness. My Where greatest do you weakness. struggle the most? Sometimes being a little too stubborn to learn things. Oh. You know, and that's something I'm really working on right now. And that's something that I know I do. Um, but sometimes if someone's trying to show me something, I'd be like, oh yeah, I already know that. You know? So mm -hmm. I think that's my greatest weakness, just being honest from the heart. I'm working on it. I am aware of it. I'm All trying right. to work on it. So. Heard the correct answer to this one 
ever, so I don't expect you to get it right. I'm but what, it, I, what happens if I get it right? What do I what do I receive? Lots of respect. Respect. Kudos, dude. Okay. Kudos. You right. know, this is this is not the easy family to to, <laughs> to be, you know, engrafted into. Just so you know. So tell me why you deserve Emily. Oh, geez, I don't. Not at all. I do not deserve that girl. She is one of a kind and she's amazing and she helps me in so many ways and I definitely don't deserve her. Right one? So that is the first correct answer what? I have I, ever gotten really, that to that one. Answer. You've done well, wow. sir. I've well done. done. Respect. <laughs> Respect. I was not prepared for that. Well done, well done. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming along. Thought this would be fun. Throw the boyfriend sort of maybe a little bit more here on the spot, so. All right, you did well. I think you did well. Downstairs with my wife to do a send off. And uh, another weird vlog today, right? <laughs> Later. All right, guys, well, most of the fam, listen to those birds. Literally 3 a.m., hence the, we're gonna go to bed. I know it feels, it feels like, oh look, it's like morning time, and not. Um, most of my family left. We had so much fun. We played games. We had dessert. It was just, it was a good time. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm loving having all of them here. It's been so long since all five, kids of us have been around so one of my other brothers was not here tonight Elijah he is 18 and he's actually up here for the summer to work um, so he has been working most of the time um, and he had he's actually taken some college courses as well and so he needed to go home go hang out at mom's do his homework and go to bed because he can't be up till 3 a.m. when he's got to work in the morning so that is the only brother that you didn't see so I am the oldest of five. There's me, who's 35, <laughs> 35. My brother, who's 32. Then my sister, who's 21. My other brother, Elijah, who's 18. And then my little brother, who's 15. So that is, that is all my family. So it's been super, super cool to be able to have them all here. Yeah, I, we're hoping that maybe while they are here, we'll be able to take them to some cool places. We might try to go take them to the glacier that you guys saw, but now during the summertime, um, over at Kastner Glacier. Uh, my mom mentioned that she wanted to go gold panning. We want to go take him to the pipeline. Just some fun things. And hopefully I'll be able to take you guys along with us while we go explore some of these areas. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go to bed and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it away, kids. Thanks, Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye, YouTube channel. Beep, beep, beep.